Hello everyone. I welcome you here again. So today we will try to learn something which is useful in research. So there is an app called Housings Publish or Perish. So I'm sharing my screen. I hope this is visible. So this is the app. It is called Housings Publish or Perish. So you can download this. Uh, I'll show you. Housings publish or perish. Publish or perish. Yeah. Publish or perish, download. So this is the first one, which is housings.com, publish or perish. You go there. So this is the page you will get. If you scroll down, then there is a download information. So on clicking this link, uh, you will be able to download this app called Publish or Perish. So version uh, currently is 8 point something something. So this is the current version. So I have already downloaded it and installed it. So I will show how to use it, this app, Publish or Perish. So this is the app. Uh, here we'll get particular kind of uh, article which is easy to get through a uh, publishers or a journal's name by putting journal's name. There are different different databases here. Google Scholar, Scopus, Web of Science, PubMed. So I'll show you with Google Scholar now. You go to here, Google Scholar, click it. So this is the page you will get. Okay. So publication name. Uh, let's, uh, let's see, uh, how exactly, what does it mean? Let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an example from the ABDC list, uh, journals. So ABDC journal list, if we click this journal quality list, we'll get, uh, ABDC journal quality list. For example, let's say I'm interested in sustainable Sustainable tourism, let's say. Sustainable tourism. Okay. So is there any journal name? Yes, there is a journal. Journal of Sustainable Tourism. It is a A star journal in ABDC uh, list. So I'll copy the name here. Then I'll go to uh, publish or perish app. Then I'll paste here. Or you can type. If, if you know the name of the journal, then you can directly type. Publication name is Journal of Sustainable Tourism. So, from the uh, Google Scholar, this app will ex uh, you know fetch you all the uh, articles which has been published in this particular journal. So that is the beauty of uh, you know of this app. And title keywords, for example, if I'm interested to read only the review articles, whether it is systematic review, critical review. Umbrella review, scoping review, or just an overview kind of review articles, just for example. So it has to be written in a inverted comma. Let's say review if I type. Okay. And keywords. Uh, let's say somebody is from marketing and you know, marketing point of view, whichever kind of marketing related sustainable tourism articles are available which are review articles in the Journal of Sustainable Tourism. Okay, so those kind of articles only is required, then keyword marketing is given, just as an example. Okay, here again, inverted comma needs to be given. Marketing. Okay, then years. Here on this side, let's say I'll take from the 2000 onwards till now, 2023. Okay, then maximum number of results here from 10 up to 1000 we can search. So I will not suggest to use 1000 because might possible that this app will assume that you are a robot, not a human. It might possible. That is the reason. Let's say I'll select only uh, 100. I'll select only 100. Then search. Okay. I have written the publication name, Journal of Sustainable Tourism. 
title words, one of the word I have given is review in inverted comma and keywords as a marketing in invert, inverted comma. Years taken have been from 2000 to 2023 and the maximum number of results I have taken 100. Then search. So this will give me data from the Google Scholar because I have chosen the a database as a Google Scholar. So now, this is the output. Here we can see on the top right side, here top right side publication year shows from 2002 to 2023. So with these particular title words and keywords, the first article published in this particular journal was in 2002. So total 21 years of data is available. This is citation years. So from last 21 years of data is available. You can see on the top right side. And total papers which have been published in this particular journal is 49. Okay. So these are the uh, uh, articles. Title is given. If you click the on the title, on the right side, it will show the uh, title details. Who is the author in which particular year it has been published and what is the title of the this particular article and we can also see the ranking as per the google scholar this column the third column gives you the ranking of the these articles as per the google scholar so somebody is doing like a literature review or finding which is the most you know article which needs to be studied so this is the benefit of using this, this app. Now we can see on the right side, there is there are two drop downs. One is copy result, another is save results. So we'll click on save results. Then results as CSV. Then we click it, then save. So it has been saved now. I'll show you how does it look like. Okay. So once you save it, CSV file, so this is how it will look like. On the top column, it will give you the citing, total citations, then author, then title, and in which year it has been published. So source and publisher is common. Since journal's name is given, which is Journal of Sustainable Tourism, publisher is Taylor and Francis. So this will be common. Okay, so uh, another thing you can see the Google Scholar rank here. Okay, it will give you abstract on the right side, it will give you abstract and full text and the uh, link of that journal. Okay, this is how you get. And what are the citations you can uh, get? What are the authors you can get? So that is the usability of this. Uh, publish and perish app. I hope this is useful. People who are, uh, you know, targeting any particular specific journal, they can type here. If they are looking for particular title in their article, they can type it here. And particular keyword they are looking, then they can type it here. And accordingly, they'll get the results. So that was the learning for today. I hope ye kafi useful raha hoga. Aap ek bar try karke dekho. It is very useful. Okay. Thank you so much.